and we got our group, and I just read it online. ESPN? No, no, it's a site called Eighth Maxim. Well, shit, I don't know. Some guy named Tenacious D. He sounded serious. Plus, Earl and them said he was tweeting the shit out of it. Yeah, hey, let, let me call you back. Monday Night Gruden's on. All right. Dip shit. He just said that Eric Berry went to the University of Tennessee. No, no, it's the way he said it. He goes, Eric Berry out of Tennessee. Like he was winking and whatnot. Damn it! Damn it! No, he ain't coming no more. Eric ain't said he ain't coming no more. Gosh damn it! Kirby smart my ass! It's false alarm. No, Eric Ainge was just being smoke screeny and whatnot. You know, throwing people off the trail. He's coming. No, he, I can tell by the way they're talking. He's coming again. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's a little grainy, but that is definitely Pratt Pavilion. And I'm telling you, that is John Gruden. I've had my eye on him since we run Fat Phil out of town. <laughs> I, I know what John Gruden looks like, and that is it, I think. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United State of Agrutica. No, I did, Doc. I just took it, and it reads 102. So Junior's definitely running a groover. Just like the rest of us, baby. Yeah, they're going to make it official after the Kentucky game. No, they've already got him. They've hired him, but they're going to wait till December the 13th to make the announcement. No, no, nothing to worry about. There's just a rule. It's called the 10-day runoff rule, I think, where you, you just can't announce a coach right after the season ends. You got you to gotta let 10 days run off. You know, plus he's got money, not Gruden, to contend with. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. You, you too. Have a Gruden. All right, buddy. <laughs> we got Gruden. My favorite of these dipshits that wonder whether or not he can recruit. Give me a break. Hey, John Gruden so much as farts in the neighboring county of a top recruit, it'll be the lead story on SportsCenter. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I got that one from the fella who writes all vol, y'all. <laughs> He's funny. To the athletic department for which it stands. Yeah, I was going to bring it in tomorrow if that was okay. No, no, the odometer's fine, but now my grudometer seems to be broke. It's like stuck on 100. I just read it. Yeah, it turns out that uh, old Jim Haslam gave him part of the Browns to kind of sweeten the deal and whatnot. Like that's probably what landed Gruden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite a carrot and a piece of that shitty protein. Gruden's about to come on ESPN's Mike and Mike in the morning. I gotta go. Have a Gruden. Monday Night Football's John Gruden as he joins us for his regular Wednesday visit on the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. How are you, John? I'm doing fine. Good morning, guys. News Channel 3 has learned that you, John Gruden, have a contract offer in hand from the University of Tennessee and that a decision could be made as early as today. Part of this apparently is that you would get a piece of the Cleveland Browns who were recently bought by Jim Haslam. Is there any truth to this whatsoever? Uh, no, there isn't. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, I read you, coach. Loud and clear. No, no, I disagree. He never once said, I ain't coming to Tennessee. What he said was, no, that, that is not true. He, he meant about the Browns. He's still coming. They've hired him. One conference, under God, Eastern Divisional. Woo, I told you. I told you, ye of little faith. It's Grudemonium around here. Absolute Grudemonium. No, I just read it. It's from a feller named Hargis down in Chattanooga. He's coming. There's one little stickler, and that's the coach's pay. But let me tell you something. When these big money men want to make something happen, by God, they make it happen. This will be settled by noon. No, just sitting here reading and rereading Hargis's piece a couple, three dozen times. What are you doing? Well, no, what news? Bullshit. Who said that? Knoxville Media. No, man, that ain't true. They're just getting news from the hill. They're trying to be smoke screedy and by saying he ain't coming. He's coming. They've hired him. They've hired him. We're going to find out on December 13th. No, listen, I ain't believing John Gruden's not coming till I hear it from Gruden's mouth or his agent's mouth. His agent said what? A fantasy world. No, that ain't true, man. They hired him. I'm telling you. What's his agent's name anyway? Uh-huh. Have you seen this guy? He looks like Wayne Newton with a perm. What does he know? You're hearing what? Mike Gundy, Charlie Strong? That ain't Coach Gruden. Who's saying that? Well, does he write with Tenacious D in them? Well, then I don't believe it. I believe it. When Gruden ain't our coach is when I'll believe it. He's coming. My Grudometer's stuck on 100 for a reason. Answer me this, Mr. Smarty Pants. If he ain't coming, then why is he sending his kids to Webb? Seems like I've got you. With punishment and ass whoopings for all. Especially you, Saban, you son of a bitch. 
you know, I think I'll buy me a visor. Gruden wears visors. I think I'd look good in a visor.